Hello everyone, it's me, PMC Starvox, for another episode of the SPT Show. It's February 2024 at long last. Let's discuss the update to SPT Aki 3.8 now that it's right around the corner. The developers have been releasing messages and posts on their progress for a few weeks now, and recent days have yielded some exciting information. In today's episode, we're going to address the time and scale of the 3.8 release, in anticipation of the full version being made available after some testing in the public because, as of Friday the 2nd, the first public test build will officially be released. SPT Aki is one of the most well-developed mod systems that I've ever used for a game, certainly for a game as seemingly enigmatic as Escape from Tarkov. Despite its mysteries, quirks of the engine, and competition between groups of developers, we've been able to enjoy modding our experience in Tarkov for months and months now, with new people finding it all the time. Naturally, we who play Aki exclusively have been eager to get the updates that were added to the vanilla game at the end of 2023. We've seen the snow and the BTR and the vaulting, and we want to try them too. Lucky for us, the wait is nearing its end. Announcements were made this week regarding the sterling progress of 3.8, and now today we've gotten word that the public Bleeding Edge release of this version will be released this evening. Most of us are still playing the live game, or keep up with it besides, so most of the interesting update features are already known by the community. The 0.14 update included a lot of new additions and changes to the game in terms of content and mechanics, some of which had been hotly anticipated for months and months. Let's just go over some of the more important ones quickly before discussing their roles in Aki 3.8. The big features we all know about include snow for the Tarkov region, an all-new weather anomaly taking place in frigid temperatures, producing icy flakes to fall and cover elements of the environment. Some say that this should have been a part of the game since the beginning, including this PMC. Also included in the update are improvements to the movement system, namely the ability to vault obstacles using the arms and legs. This is a mechanic already present in most other contemporary combat games, just like wall hugging and dodge rolling, and its absence has vexed Tarkov players for decades. Now it can climb atop or completely over these obstacles with new animations and collision mechanics. The particularly interesting to me are the updates made to the game's armor system and hitboxes. Firstly, armor plates for rigs that carry them have been added, enabling the player to choose and maintain their plating as they play. This was the one feature that I enjoyed in that one Warzone game, as I very much like shooter games with armor pickups and upgrades during matches. It should make Tarkov feel much more immersive, having now included these plates in almost every interaction with an armored individual, whether fighting or looting. Furthermore, hitboxes have been reworked to include more working zones on the character bodies for specific damage. It's complex, but now works to provide more logical coverage of areas visible on the character model. The zones that appear to be covered by armor are now protected, as opposed to the more uniform coverage of the previous version, so be extra careful to protect those armpits. We've all seen Lord of the Rings. And of course, they've added more information to the death screen about how your character was laid low to reflect these changes. Something I hadn't expected them to add was the ability to transition a weapon from one hand to the other, but it has also been included in the wondrous 0.14 update. While there will be a penalty to weapon stability on the left side, I've wanted it as a feature for long enough to welcome it with open arms. I myself am primarily right-handed, but I've wanted to swap shoulders when shooting in Tarkov to deal with those pesky corners and doorways. Now, I'm sure everyone already knows about this feature by now, but a functioning and interactable BTR-82A has been added to the Streets of Tarkov map. It's apparently run by a very enterprising individual because PMCs, and only PMCs, can pay the commander for a small variety of services. It can serve as a taxi, safely transporting PMCs to specific sites around the map, and even send items found in the raid to the player's stash, which is a pretty big deal. Unprompted, the BTR is neutral to all players on the map, unless it is attacked or commissioned to provide covering fire for a paying NPC. You've likely already seen footage of this in action, as most of us have kept up with other YouTubers or just played it ourselves and found it rather exciting. I myself am not super sure about how I like having combat vehicles operating in Tarkov, but do like the updated mechanics and change of pace, so I'll go with it for now. So we all want these updated features in SPT Aki, but will they all be available right away? A long update from February 1st was posted by the SP Tarkov Project, discussing progress on all fronts and listing changes made since any previous posting. While it seems like things are moving very quickly, and the many developers and translators are hard at work behind the scenes, some features from 0.14 won't be ready for the Bleeding Edge release and are still under construction, having been unable to start on the new Lightkeeper services just yet. 
What's more, mods will not be available for the 3.8 Bleeding Edge release to prevent an explosion of comments regarding incompatibility and when all the problems will be fixed. The developers, as expected, will be watching as the public test is put through its paces to gather feedback and information required to complete the project. For now, we'll get to enjoy the features that have already been added from the update last year, like the weapon rack, and most of those newly available to SPT this year, bringing us the changes that we won so badly. As usual, the best places to find the latest information on SPT Aki are the SPT Pub Discord server and their subreddit, where the developers post their updates and hold their discussions, as well as the SP Tarkov Hub website. I myself am rather excited for the snow and vaulting mechanics, as I truly feel like their absence has hurt the game for years. A year-round summer in Tarkov, where the things cannot be climbed, simply feels unnatural and lacks immersion. Despite how robust of a combat simulator EFT can be, Character movements are stiff and lack context, having little to no interaction with an unmoving environment, one without a single sliding object. Most of us are confident that 3.8 will improve SPT rather a lot, and have been vividly excited to find out for weeks. Anyone making Aki content or participating in one of its forums has seen the unyielding wave of questions regarding when it will be released and just how much it will contain. Let us know if you've been playing 0.14 and how the updates have affected your experience. We've seen a largely positive response to the changes, feeling good about some long-awaited progress for the core game mechanics and fun additions. Are you enjoying Live Tarkov more now than before? What features are you most excited to see in SPT Aki? Leave a comment and find us in the Club Starvox Discord server to discuss all these things as we get access to the Bleeding Edge release for this weekend. There's going to be a lot going on. Thanks very much for watching. Hopefully this provides you with a good outline of the major updates to these new versions of Tarkov and SPT, and a point of reference before trying the public demo unless you've already tried it by now. Let us know what you think and how it's going and you'll be hearing more from me very soon. Thanks for watching, liking, and subscribing. Find us on the Club Starvox Discord server for more information on SPT Yaki and a cool community of very helpful folks.